Hey folks, this is Long Ball Cards. Tonight we're going to open up a Great Lakes Breaks collector's box. This is the June edition, I believe. This is a subscription box. It's about $30. You can see their website right there, glbbreaks.com. Um, it's fun for the price. You get a few unopened packs and you get a whole bunch of singles in there. Let's take a look at what we got in here. My son opened up his and he had probably the same set of packs in there, some heritage, um, got some good stuff. They also put some hits in here and some supplies. So we will do our packs first. If you're just joining us for the first time, check out our website, it's longballcards.com. We do breaks and things on here. Uh, we've got an upcoming mixer with Topps Tribute that comes out next week. So stay tuned for that. It's not listed on the website yet, but when it comes out, hopefully we'll put it up there on the 23rd and have the break probably the 24th. So we have our packs here. So some heritage, the gallery actually you have a pretty good shot at uh, if it's, I don't know if that's from a blaster or not, or a monster box, but if it's from a monster box, you have a good shot at an autograph in those. So let's do start with heritage high number. From 2021. These you kind of have to look at the backs and see if you got what we got. Looks like an insert there. If you get one of the variations, Oliva rookie, Stassi. There's a Tony Perez insert. It's kind of cool. Alcantara rookie, Victor Gonzalez rookie, and Marmela Hose. I guess is how you say that name. So I don't just take a quick look there. I don't see anything. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's do the Bowman Platinum from 2022. Might have to open this one up from the middle here. These give me grief. Brian De La Cruz rookie, not bad. Freddie Freeman, Trey Sweeney, and then, hey, a Bobby Witt Icy Parallel, not bad at all. So that's one of the better ones you can get in that. Put the Bobby Witt up there. Well, let's do the gallery next. Perez. Tyler McGill rookie, a Brian Reynolds printer's proof, it's a parallel. And a Quan rookie, not bad. All right, and last but not least, the 2023 Heritage. So my son pulled a purple parallel, one of the purple chromes of Nico Horner, which he was pretty excited about. Living in the Chicago area, lots of Cubs fans around here. The nice Corbin Carroll, New Age Performers. So that's one of the better cards, you, inserts you can get. So not bad, put that on the stage right there. Budo, rookie. So real quick here, we'll see 401 and above in Heritage this year are short prints, no short prints. I didn't see any obvious variations. And then what else you get here? You get some hits again with the supplies. Nice uh, Bobby Dahlbeck rookie there. It's one of our hits. And that is Joan Figgins. I remember him from growing up. Masterpieces. That's a pretty sweet autograph, I would say. From Upper Deck. It's pretty cool. Especially if you were a fan back then when he was playing. It's a nice card. And then, so number of top loaders and sleeves. Again, this box is $30. So uh, just looking through, you can kind of get an idea of what some of the singles you get in here. Loads them up with a variety of older and newer cards. You get some rookie cards. You can tell you can get some chrome cards in here. 
nothing that's going to be like a ton of value, obviously, but um, names you'll know. Look at that die cut. That's pretty cool. Strasburg. So great for younger collectors or people just getting started out. Just want to rip something for, it's the price of a blaster or a little bit more than a blaster. So not bad. Getting some newer stuff worked in here. There's a Matt Carpenter. It's a numbered card. Look at that Stan Musial. Stadium Club. So my son looks forward to this box every month. He's actually pulled some pretty good stuff out of the packs. So again, if you, you are looking for something relatively cheap, this is something to take a look at. Again, it's glbbreaks.com. Joe Ryan, first Bowman. Not bad. There's a pink parallel coming up here. There's a Tim Anderson pink parallel. Good for Chicago fans around here. My son will probably sell that out of the driveway. Calhoun Black. So there is a relic in here. Roy Halladay. That's pretty awesome. He was, he was a terrific pitcher. So pretty cool. And that does it. So again, um, Take a look at our website, longballcards.com. Got that break coming up, uh, Tops Tribute. Uh, we do affordable breaks, so usually the, the Tribute one's gonna be the high end. Usually we do 20 to $40. It'll probably be somewhere around $40 uh, for the Tribute Mixer, but um, thanks for stopping in and checking this out, and we'll see you next time.